Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Yamanak is Poison here, just me, myself and I back again for another video and today I'm basically going to talk to you about the limited time event. Now, if you're like myself, who is pretty much alone on Valentine's Day and has got nothing else better to do, Storm4 has been pretty nice enough to give us the limited time event on the online servers. So, you check it out and it's the Jin Cherokee as you can see. Uh, I did try to choose all the different characters, as you can see, it's actually split into three different parts. And uh, with these three different parts, it's like the it's like a beginner, not beginner, but it's like the difficulties get easier than harder as you go along. Uh, it did say that you can win like a special prize or some shit. It, yeah, the, the prize is just ninja treasure that you can use for the Bandai store to buy stuff, which really isn't really isn't uh, interesting at all. Really, if anything, I actually find that these uh, tasks or these limited time events might not even be that much of a big deal. You don't really get much out of it. I think it kind of exaggerates when it tells you that you're going to get some, you know, special prize or whatever it says. But, you know, it's just... I didn't really think it's a good idea. Here I'm showing you a pretty much sped up versions of the fights because obviously the fights are boring because you're not actually fighting against people online, you're fighting against CPU. And really, I don't understand why they even put this on the online menu to begin with. This. <laughs> I, I just don't see the point. So yeah, I'm just showing you the sped up versions of the fights here, just to basically show you what, what you're going to basically be dealing with with the online time event. So if you haven't actually played the online time limited event or whatever it's called, um, yeah, it's it's not really worth your time. Especially if you actually bought any everything from the Bandai store using your ninja treasure. This just gives you more ninja treasure for that. And yeah, is I don't really is it on for about six days by the looks of it. It's on until Valentine's Day, which is today until the twentieth of um, of February. But yeah, just it was the, the fights were really easy. I I actually got, you know, my hopes up slightly thinking, oh maybe the game might give me something good like I don't know, maybe like a new in Ninja Info card picture, or maybe Ninja Info card skin, maybe, or I don't know, a title or two. No, you don't get that, you just get nothing much, you just get Ninja Treasure and Rio, like always, so... Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a shame to be honest. So here here are the fights. That's that's pretty much that. I don't really see the point in limited time events. I don't get why time events are even a thing in this game. I don't know what CC2 were actually trying to do. Really, I, I didn't really see the point. I mean, I I, I guess it's kind of cool that it's themed, you know, plans to catch the tower of beasts and shit. But yeah, I. I I'm not really going to be too excited or not going to really be looking forward to future uh, limited events because it, they didn't really seem all that special and I didn't really think we are going to get much from them. Maybe if there's a limited event where you can actually fight characters that aren't on the roster, maybe that makes it slightly more interesting, but I can't really see it being that good because it, ooh, it gives us some return, it's just ninja treasure, and plus since we're fighting a CPU, and this game is quite easy to be good at, and it's really easy to beat the CPU at. It's, the thing is no challenge at all, I haven't lost a single fight against these things, and it was, if anything, it was quite disappointing. So yeah, you had three fights per difficulty, and then I noticed that, well, it says one by each, each like, after each fight, like it has like a little one next to the difficulty, and then you go up to the next one, you get one, and then you get another one on the uh, all difficulties. When you have one and all three difficulties, I actually went back to do the beginner difficulty once again. The beginning one, I think it's called the beginning difficulty. And I tried that again, and it just, um, it had a two next to it. I think it's just to show me that I did it twice. I don't think I actually got anything extra. It might give me extra stuff for doing it again, I'm actually not too sure. Or maybe they did raise the difficulty, and I didn't really see much of a difference. Other than the fact that when I completed it, it got me a two. So I have like I think it just tells you how many attempts you did. So I did like two attempts on the Genin and like one on everything else. Uh, that's pretty much it. I can't really say much else for the video. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's limited time events. They're not really much of a big deal. I didn't really. Yeah, you shouldn't. I hope you didn't really expect much out of this video because this is basically my thoughts on the matter. And just to tell you that I didn't really think it should be made of a big deal and don't really get excited for future <laughs> limited time events. Anyway, yeah, I've been pretty disappointed about it, so that's pretty much it. So it's been your boy Yamanaka's Poison. As always, sayonara.